You might get a pop up on your screen or might not. There we go. Um, who is this? David Chavez? Hold on. Oh, hello. All right. I think that's everyone. All right. So it's 917. I don't want to waste your time since I don't have you for that long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my camera down so you guys can see uh, what's on my table. And then we'll get started right away. It's a cool book, I promise. All right, here we go. All right, so this book, if you guys can see on my screen, if you want to enlarge me, you can. It's by pinning me. You guys remember how to pin me? So if you don't want to pin me, that's fine. But if you want to see it better, that's a good idea. So here it is. The book is called Louise Loves Art. So this is Louise. She's the girl. She likes to do art. And it's going to be a little confusing because her brother is also named Art. So hopefully that clears up any confusion later on. So here we go. So we're going to read this book, and then we'll do a little art activity based on it. So here we go. Luis loves art. I love art. It's my imagination on the outside. So little time, so much to draw. One of these drawings may be my masterpiece, the greatest drawing I have ever done. To be a great artist, you have to notice everything. Every line, every curve. Wait, hold that pose. I'll capture your catness. It's a cool page. I've done it. So fierce, so feline, so fantastic. A masterpiece. Luis. Her brother calls. Not now, Art. I have to get ready for my show. I have to hang each picture just so. Louise. Looks like she's decorating her whole, her whole house with art. Interesting. It's my piece de resistance. I know the perfect spot for it. The gallery do fridge. So it looks like she's framing where to put her artwork on the fridge. Uh oh. Looks like art is cutting up one of her artworks. Luis. It looks like you need glasses and a uh, thing. Kind of cool. Ah, art, how could you? It's my drawing, my masterpiece. What did you do, art? So it looks like they're looking at it very carefully. But then he says, sorry. So obviously, he's very sad. They look at it more intently. Oh, Art, I love it. Well, that was nice. It's your masterpiece, and I know the perfect spot for it. Voila. First place on the art show, Lewis's art. Oh, Lewis loves art, sorry. And it looks like now they're drawing together. Pretty cool. All right, so that was the book uh, called Luis Loves Art. So right now, if you have a blank sheet of paper, you may follow along with me. So here's my blank sheet of paper right here. And we have a few minutes, which is great. And what I'd like to do is to try to, try to draw the cat from the book. There is a lot of uh, different types of poses that the cat does. 
in this book, especially in this page right here, where he's like posing for uh, Luis. Uh, but I think for kindergarten, we're just gonna try to keep it super basic, and then we'll go from there. So last week, if you guys don't remember, we did a dog. So I figured this week we finish it off and make it fair by doing the opposite and making a cat. So here we go. So if you want to draw with me, you can. If you just want to watch, that's fine as well. So here we go. So my first step is to make sure my paper is vertical, also known as up and down or portrait. Okay. And then next step is I want to draw the top of the head. So a little curve right here. Just like so. And then unlike dogs, cats have pointy ears. Some dogs have pointy ears, but cats all have pointy ears. So I'm going to draw two ears like this. Okay. And I'm trying to do my best to try to copy the book style. The book has the cat's ears a little bit more pointier than usual. And they point in different directions. My next step, I'm going to add triangles in the inside of these ears. I'm going to add triangles in the inside of these ears. Because it looks like that's what they did on this one. All right. Let's finish off the head shape by going down on each side by where the ears were. And then kind of closing up a tad bit. There you go. If you didn't leave space for the neck, that's fine. You can close it if you want. All right. Now let's do one big swooping motion by making a curve line or kind of like a straight line kind of going all the way down, just like so. So this is my version of a cat when it comes to this book. So we're kind of copying the book, but not quite. I'm going to make the foot. I'm making it facing right. All right. After that, I'm going to go up a little bit. So there's a the foot. I went up from that line from the foot. All right. Now I'm going to make the other foot. So in order to make the other foot, I'm going to make the other foot facing the other direction and touching the other foot, just like so. So it's touching it. Good job, everyone. All right, next step. I'm going to make a line going up again, just like that. And then from the bottom of this foot, I can curve up and go a little bit and stop right there. So we have the two front feet. All right, this next part is a little tricky. You guys ready for this tricky part? All right, uh, you can start from either end. Um, I'm gonna start from, so just watch first. So you need to start from the foot or from the neck. I, I like to start from up here, actually. So I'm going to go down and curve out and go really wide out and then meet back where the foot is, right there, kind of like that. Okay. All right, this word looks kind of goofy. We're going to add a letter C somewhere. I'm going to add my letter C in this big area right here, but I'm gonna make sure it touches this leg. So if I go from here and make my letter C like that, it should kind of look like when uh, an animal, like a dog or a cat, when they sit down or they have like a bent back leg, kind of like that. And then on the bottom of the C, just draw a straight line heading towards the leg, just like that. And that should symbolize the foot. So that's the back foot of the cat. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's finish off with the face. Um, so this is what I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to try to show you guys what the other class did. So I'm going to move this one over. And then you guys can get to pick which one that you would like to do for your, uh, for your artwork. So here's the cat from last class. You guys can see that. And this is the class I'm doing. Uh, this is the cat I'm doing with you guys. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same exact nose from the book, which is just a heart. Okay. No. Or for the eyes, you can either do your own type of eyes, or you can kind of like do these type of eyes right here. I'm going to do different eyes this time. I'm just going to kind of create arrows pointing up, just okay. like so. And then that's it. That's all I'm going to do for the eyes. Maybe I'll make There's eyebrows here. So it's cartoony. Oh, okay. And no mouth for me. Because I don't think they put a mouth on the book one. Yeah, there's no mouth on the book cat. If you want to add a mouth, you can. All right, and for the tail, the reason why I have these two pictures side by side, so one from your class and one from the other kindergarten class, is that you can put the tail anywhere you want. If you want to put the tail on the left side, you can. If you want to do what I'm about to do here, I was coming in that camera. I'm going to do the tail on this side because I think it looks better. Just like that. Mr. Mel? And there we go. I'm done. All right. So I'll leave this up on my uh, on your screen for a little bit longer. That way, if you guys are still looking at it, you can take a look at it. Uh, and if you're falling behind, it's okay. Uh, there will be a recording of this class up on the classroom, hopefully by Friday. Mr. Mel? All right, if you're done early, or if you want to show your artwork, you can hold it up to the camera. And that way, so Driscoll and I and uh, Ms. Ranjan and Ms. Yuga, we can all see your artwork. If you don't want to share it, that's okay. I'm just going to turn my camera around so you guys can see me. And then with that said, uh, we're going to end the class on time, so in a little bit. So let me see what you guys got. All right, yes. Uh, you guys have questions? Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, hold on. This, who are they again? All right, Yasin, did you have a question? Yasin, do you have a question? Yes, the kids were calling you. Um, I can't hear you. Uh, Can you hear us? No microphone. Do, do you want to type your question in the chat? Because I got to get going soon. It's the mail. All right. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, all right. Uh, ugh. all right. Uh, Phoenix and Kaylee. I actually, I unfortunately have to answer your questions later. I first. It's a back-to-back -back class with you guys. All right. Well, thanks for sharing your artwork, guys. I apologize. I got to get going, but I got into the class starting in about like a couple seconds. I'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.